When are you going to get tired of people talking to you about Pep Guardiola? I like uh, the responsibility of controlling the game, creating chances, solutions. It's the way I would like to play for 95 minutes. Probably we have some new players. We're going to have some players that they're going to leave. I like also to share time with, uh, as you said, with the Pint, with, uh, with friends. Can I share what you've got in your WhatsApp avatar? <laughs> yeah. And so I've just been watching the, uh, the open training session and how can I put it? There is a sense of renewed hope from the fans. They, 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 they clap in you, they're excited, but you've just been relegated. Can you explain that? <laughs> yeah, this is the same. Uh, we receive exactly the same in terms of uh, hopes we can see even not only today, since day one we start, that uh, there is a good environment. As you said, even if we just uh, we just really this is good. This is something that uh, we need, especially this year. As I said the first day, uh, I know that uh, Leicester fans they always have been good, but especially this year we need them even more because after relegation, you need uh, this boost, you know, always. What do you mean? You need them to do what? To accept when the fits come to uh, to. Wait no, for things yeah, to happen. Yeah, we need them pushing the team, uh, especially one after one year, like uh, last year. And even this year, it's important that uh, they 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 are always in behind the team, because uh, everyone is thinking that uh, because we are Leicester, uh, we have to win all the games, or we're gonna win all the games in easy way only because we are Leicester, and it's not. Uh, Football uh, is not uh, A, B, C. It's much more complicated. And for me, it's in the other in the other side. Because we are Leicester, the opponent this year they're gonna try to 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 make the impossible to 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 get points against us. We've spoken many times, and uh, and we've spoken about football, about how you think, about the way you want your teams to be. And now I see you. Uh, when you go, you walk into a training page or when you walk into the, 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 the training center, surrounded by hundreds of people. All of a sudden, you, you are the boss of all that. You are at the top of the pyramid of whatever is happening in this massive club. And you're scared. How does that feel? No, no, absolutely. No, no, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I like uh, this feeling, to be honest. It's something that, uh, that uh, I like. I like uh, the responsibility of this, this situation. And as I said always, this is an important club uh, to be there for me. It's I'm, I'm very proud. So when you drove for the first time into the training ground, which is a, it's an unbelievable training ground, one of the best, isn't it? You're in the car and you already have signed a contract and you're driving in and you see all this massive building and a lot of people saying hello yeah. and asking you questions. And how did you feel that first day? No, the first feeling I had that day, it's uh, something is starting, you know, the journey starts. And it's a very good feeling. And then, as you said, you know, the facility is something uh, unbelievable. But we need to know that uh, we, are no, we are not going to win games only because uh, we have a good facility. <laughs> so we need, uh, there is work to do, but uh, I really enjoy it. You've got a lot of people helping you to get there. Uh, obviously, uh, and uh, I'd like to talk about you coaching staff at some point as well, but that is the other side that you don't see. When you come out of the training ground, where'd you go? Are you in an hotel or are your family here? <laughs> how, how is that? No, uh, fortunately for one side, I'm still at the training ground and unfortunately for the other one, because my family is still uh, abroad, we are looking for a new house. So I'm still sleeping at, uh, at the training ground. And they're not in a rush to come in because they know what the English weather is like <laughs> in the summer, or what? No, to be honest, they are. Yeah, they wanna. We like to stay together. To be honest, as a family, we always. I have four kids, and we always try to, to be to be close, to be together. Because of your family, um, I know you're Italian, but you're more Spanish than Italian. <laughs> uh, explain that because the way you think, even the way you talk Spanish, you you, you are from my country. Uh, yeah, my wife, she's from, the Sp she, she's from Spain. I lived there for many years. And uh, because I move a lot in different countries, especially my country and Spain many years, and different country too, uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm Italian. I'm proud to be Italian, to be honest. But I feel, uh, uh, I feel, I feel like uh, I'm from everywhere. You know, I adapt. I don't have any problem. When I was very young, I moved to England as a player. When I was just 18, and I feel, I feel good. I feel good because I, I adapt very soon to the situation. My favorite band, El Ultimo de la Fila, says, uh, "My countries are my shoes. Wherever right. my shoes are, that's my <laughs> country. That, that's exactly. you, isn't it?" Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. But you have a special predilection for uh, for the, 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 the Spanish football culture, if you like, uh, that has to do with possession, yes. with position, and that has to do with even Johan Cruyff down. No, so that's that's your where you're feeding from. Yes, uh, all start. I think uh, fifteen years ago, more or less, I was still player. And I faced Pep team when Pep was at Barcelona. And with Sevilla or? With Seville and then with Malaga too. And facing them, I realized that uh, something different happened in the pitch. So I fall in love immediately with that idea since that time that I was uh, 27, 28, more or less. I fall in love with that idea. So I start to analyze game and to try to understand that team. And then uh, Pep brings his idea in different country, Germany, now England. So, but all start from that time when I was uh, still football player, and I faced Barcelona, and I realized that uh, was not the same thing happened against a different team. It was completely different. I, w I want to stop there for a second because I've spoken to a lot of people that have played under Pep. I've spoken to Pep. Yeah. I've written about him. But the people that the, the players that have been against Pep, um, I've spoken less, and and I wonder what feeling you get when you see the ball going so fast that you're <laughs> unable to catch it, uh, no matter how much you defend or how deep you defend, yeah. they still find a way. Yeah. How did you feel all that? Yeah, as you said, I didn't play with uh, under Pep, but I faced him many times and uh, was uh, in one side was good, was nice, because it uh, was completely different. So it was something new. And uh, because I'm curious, so I wanted to know what's happened, you know. And for the other side, it was uh, bad because uh, we were just running behind the ball. And when we recovered the ball, we immediately uh, lose again. Uh, because they recover immediately. So that feeling was a little bit mixed. But yeah, I fall in love with that idea facing facing them. Sounds like that was the day you became a manager. Uh, that was the day that uh, I start to think about uh, ma more than manager, try to understand. Because at the beginning it was just, uh, I was, as I said, 27, 28. It was, was, was just, uh, I want to understand. I want to analyze. Not because one day I will be a manager, but just because I want to understand. Then from there, you know, it's a step by step, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So, yeah, I start to, to think as a manager. Many people focus on, on Pep Guardiola's tactics and the way the, the teams play. But I feel that one of the things that he's added to football, it's something that he learned from Johan Cruyff. The why not question. The let's do things differently. Why do we have to do it this way? Uh, and Johan already thought that way, didn't he? He was challenging everything around him. Pep did that as well. And by the sounds of it, you were doing, from the moment you started to think as a manager, you were doing that as well. Let's think differently. Let's do things differently. Yeah, probably cost a little bit more because uh, most of the things that you want to try are new for the players. Uh, even now, even in the past, Sometimes when we try to do something, sometimes the players answer uh, gaffa. They said gaffa, coach. They, nobody told me this in the past. So it's something new even for them when they are 25, 27, 28, 20, 32. So it's something that you need to install a new concept, a new idea for them that they have played already for 10, 15 years and nobody told them before. So it's something new that uh, unfortunately for me, for a manager, require time. But in the moment that you got 
it's something fantastic. And it requires time, and I think that's something fans will have to understand, and the club as well. It requires time because players, when they are under stress, when they have to take a decision, they'll go to what they know, not so much exactly. about what you're going to teach exactly. them. For them to change that mentality while while you still have to win games is the time that you <laughs> require, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. This is the this is the point, but uh, worth it because uh, if at the end you you realize that idea, it's something fantastic. It's something fantastic, and yeah, to be honest, the club. Uh, since I joined the club, since I met the owner, the sport director. Since I met the people in general from Leicester, from the club, they didn't say me in, in never uh, this year we need to get promoted. They are ambitious, I'm ambitious, all we want the same target, but uh, they know that uh, it's a new journey. So, let, let me ask you a couple of things before we move away from. from your source of inspiration or sources of inspiration. You mentioned two names, Pep Guardiola and, and Johan Cruyff. Can I share what you've got in your WhatsApp avatar? <laughs> yeah. It's a Johan Cruyff quote yeah. about, uh, I will be surrounded by people that challenge me, basically, that teach me things. Yeah. That, that is the essence of, of your philosophy and perhaps what you want every day. Uh, it's just a... Uh, uh, we all like to have around us, surround with uh, close people. But when you can find also people that you can uh, learn things from them, I think it's something uh, that uh, you, you need to appreciate. Because uh, when you are with people that they can teach you, for me it's fantastic. Some, some people, they, they struggle or they don't accept to our people better than them around. But in my case, I always try to have uh, better people or just people that uh, I, can, I can take things. That perhaps explains why having, having had an experience at Parma as number one, you decide to, to become a number two. But of course, a number two, <laughs> the Guardiola, which is, yeah. you know, it's not bad. Uh, but it is about stepping aside to see, okay, what else do I have to learn? No, there was a little bit of absolutely that. yes, yes. After the first step that I I gave uh, years ago, joining Parma, there was a chance to to work with Pep, and as you said, you can you can learn new things every day, every day, every day. Just on Parma, by the way, um, the five games before they let you go. Yeah. I'm talking from memory. Is it two wins, two draws, and one defeat? It's two win, two draw, and one defeat. Yes, it's. Uh, so why? No, it's just uh, anyway. It's something that happened in the past. I'm completely. I always said that I'm completely convinced that we were in the right path. The team was uh, uh, growing, uh, getting better. Uh, the problem is that uh, with this idea, you need the club support you every time. And probably they, they 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 support the idea until I don't know until after some games and then they they stop to support. But with this idea, you need uh, people that uh, believe in this idea and support you because it's not uh, something that uh, they the day after you have you got it already. You need uh, you need day by day improving. Train. I always said the same. They ask me about. Uh, June, May, target. I always said for me the target is uh, tomorrow session because I want to see the players how they improve, and the preseason has been quite good. On Pep Guardiola, just just to finalize, when are you gonna get tired of people t talking to you about Pep Guardiola, or you're not gonna get tired <laughs> about it? No, 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 because uh, no, I enjoy. I I've been lucky to join uh, City for two years, and work and share the day, the time with. Uh, with people there, because not only Pep, but the club, uh, sport director, Chiki Begiristain, uh, Pep staff like uh, Lorenzo, these kind of people, to be honest, it's uh, a pleasure to share time with them, because first of all, they are uh, normal people, and it's good to share time with them. And you've grown, no? Absolutely. As, a, as, exactly. a, as exactly. a thinker of the game, but as exactly. a coach as well. Exactly.
and you're trying to put some of some of that into it, but you have your own ideas, I imagine, yes. that is a mixture of, of that. To do all that now, with so many people, look, one, two, three, four, there's five people here behind the cameras, and this is just media team, part of it. And then the coaches, I don't know, I counted seven, eight coaches right. were with you. Uh, and then on the way here, I'm sure you've spoken to another 10 people. Uh, they all want a piece of you. They all want a bit of you. They all want answers from you. Uh, at what point you are on your own? For, when, when you're going to give time to yourself and what do you do to do that? In this moment, it's almost impossible because, as I said, you also, I live in the training ground, so it's very difficult to... You're not helping yourself. Uh, not at the moment, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I try to relax when I am with the family, with the kids. It's the moment that I try to... Uh, to, 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 to be a little bit more relaxed. But uh, not only me, I think all the managers, they say the same. Uh, it's almost impossible, even when you are at home, don't think about uh, the players, don't think about uh, how, they, how was the training session in the afternoon, how will it be tomorrow, how will be the next game, how we prepare the next game. It's almost impossible. I need to talk to your wife, because I think when you're with them, with your family, There'll be times, I'm sure, many times where they're talking to you and they know you're and not there. <laughs> my wife said the same. <laughs> and sometimes she she said the same to me. Where I'm, I'm, I, sometimes, hello, yeah, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Happen, happen. But that's the moment for you to actually be a hundred percent into what you're doing. It's a big club. It's a big moment. For yeah, no, 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 no. That's why I said you at the beginning. I really enjoy this kind of a responsibility. You know, it's uh, because you are there, as you said, you are. You, you need to take decision, and it's something that uh, I really like. Yeah. The target, you said, it's about every single session. Yeah. Uh, there will be changes in the squad at this stage. You, you're you going to play Coventry, yeah. not with your full squad. That, that That is just, that is how it goes at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, everywhere. With the, all the clubs, all the managers, we are all in the same uh, situation. We have, at the moment, I think, uh, nine, ten players already left. We have five new players, and because of the window market, probably we have some new players. We're gonna have some players that they're gonna leave, for sure. At the moment, the squad is not, uh, it's not definitely, it's not close, so we're gonna have uh, some changes. And in, in pre-season, uh, I'd be annoyed if people just commented on the results, for instance, because in the Liverpool game, yeah. uh, the first, I'd say, 20 minutes, half an hour, this was a team that, that perhaps surprised you, that how well they got the message and how absolutely. they were playing? Absolutely. The first half an hour, I was really impressed with the, the performance. Uh, we create two, three clear chances. Uh, we dominated the first half an hour with the ball, keeping the ball. And this is the idea. And I was surprised because uh, this is, for me, is the target. And is the way I would like to play for 95 minutes. And to play against that team for half an hour, completely in the game, controlling the game, creating chances, solution, I was really impressed. That doesn't mean that the next game will be easy because, uh, you know, all the games, they are different. Also because Coventry, uh, less than one month ago, probably two months ago, they were playing final to get promoted. They have the same manager in the like six, seven years. Uh, so that's why I said you at the beginning that because we are Leicester, the people think that uh, everything will be easy. But uh, the first one, you're going to see that will be difficult because they are a good team, because they want the same than us, because two months ago they were playing for, they were very close to get promoted. And this is, uh, yeah, this, this is uh, uh, our season. You're preparing for it. You've got the perfect coaching staff around you that, yeah. that are pushing you. Uh, you have to focus on the job, job at hand. But have you been in a country pub having a pint of wine as well? <laughs> or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. I've got an idea for you, <laughs> by the way. I'll tell you later. Uh, but uh, I'd recommend you one, one or two. Uh, but you like to do that, would you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I like also to share time with, uh, as you said, with the pint, with, uh, with the friends. So, yeah, absolutely. This is the, this, this, <laughs> this is the best time, you know, when you you are there, uh, you can relax a little bit more. Yeah, after a couple of defeats, you won't go out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll stay home. <laughs> yeah. 
Right, and so it's been a pleasure as always talking to you. So good luck for the season. Thank you, thank you. Thanks to you. Thank you very much. Gracias.